Joining us on the line from the Commerce region, where the head of state is taking part in the cleanup campaign, is our reporter Blanche Gorses. Very good morning to you, Blanche, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Jonas. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, the program started very early. Can you tell us, can you walk us through how the program started earlier on this morning? Well, as you just played that insert, the head of state and his uh, and the first lady, Monica Gaingos, kick-started the campaign, nationwide campaign. Of course, activities were already happening in other parts of the country. Namibians have really rallied the call, something that the president even observed during his uh, official launch speech, saying that this can be one of those uh, activities or events that actually has a lot to contribute towards nation building. But that aside, what was astonishing is the crowd. Thousands came out from neighboring constituencies, not only from uh, Samora Marshall constituency, but the neighboring constituencies to join the first couple, of course, led by the armed forces to clean the, uh, the informal settlements. And as you know, that a few months back, Namibia was experiencing the outbreak of uh, hepatitis E in this very informal settlement. Hence, it may not have been a mistake to kickstart uh, the campaign in the informal settlement. Mm. Now, 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 Blanche, do you think that this will be a one-off thing, or is, do you see uh, a trend being started now? Will we see this thing happening more frequently than, than, than usual? Yes, yes, Jonas. It was one of the points that the president spoke about when he arrived at the second uh, cleaning station, that of Moses Barweb constituency. He had talks with the uh, constituency councillor Martin David, where both of them agreed uh, when they stopped at a, a sewerage pond. Both of them agreed that this uh, the cleanup campaign must not be once uh, once off. It must be and maybe monthly uh, monthly event. It's the only way that uh, the culture can be maintained or inculcated into uh, the minds of Namibians that way everyone would be would be participating now the outstanding thing at the constituency Moses Tarwe constituency where the number of little kids school kids coming welcoming the president and uh, the first lady to clean you know taking day off as you know school started uh, on mm -hmm. Monday but then Seeing today is Africa Day, a, a public holiday in uh, Namibia. They came out to mm. join the cleanup campaign. So I'm sure they, as well as uh, the first couple, the armed forces, the uh, protocol people, all of them are looking forward to have these as uh, not on, not a once-off event. Yeah. Jonas. Uh, lastly, Blanche, did you uh, did you have an opportunity to speak to some of the uh, participants of the cleanup campaign, members yes, of the public? Yes, I, I I spoke to a number of them. Uh, the churches are represented, the, the police are represented, and of course NBC is also represented, our members mm -hmm. cleaning. So I did have a chance to speak to them uh, regarding the Christ Light Church. A gentleman I spoke to, he said that they have been sensitizing their members to clean their surroundings almost every Sunday. So it's something that I'm sure the message has been getting across. I I guess it just needed uh, some political support as well. So I have been speaking to the people. Many of them are optimistic. Right now we are on our way to Kadutura Central constituency where the president will also be having a chance to interact with the, with the inhabitants and uh, clean as well. All right, Blanche, thank you so much. Thank and all you the best. So